El Dorado County News, March 9, 2012. Hi, this is Rob Charney with El Dorado County News for March 9, 2012. Trappers carry Cubby the Beaver out on a pitchfork. Cubby the Beaver was carried out of the El Dorado Hills neighborhood on a pitchfork Wednesday morning. Trappers caught the animal and removed it from the area. Trial opens on confrontations at Highway 50 Restaurant. Highway 50 Restaurateur Kevin Carnes was depicted in El Dorado County Superior Court on Wednesday as a short fused threat to travelers who were unlucky enough to wind up in the parking lot of his Dante's on the River uh, restaurant east of Pollock Pines. Pierce delivers tactical water tender firefighting truck to Garden Valley Fire Protection District. Pierce Manufacturing has placed a Pierce Tactical Water Tender Wildland Apparatus into service with the Garden Valley Fire Protection District, engineered to meet National Wildfire Coordination Group's approval specifications. The new apparatus will provide water support for wildland firefighting operations for the district, as well as a powerful fire suppression capabilities when called upon. The vehicle was purchased through a Fire Act grant. El Dorado's best RX saving program for all of El Dorado County residents uh, can participate regardless of age, income, or status. The RX savings program available for free to all county residents as well as residents of the Sacramento region. By using the card, residents will be able to save up to 75% off generic medications with overall average savings more than 40% across brand and generic medication combined. Gold panning spikes in Auburn State Recreational Area rivers. Rivers in the Auburn State Recreational Area have been getting a workout from pans and hands. Local bank Sierra Vista Bank announces public offering. Sierra Vista Bank today announced its commencement of a public offering of 3,250,000 shares of common stock at $2 per share. We have an update family of deceased twin sisters. It took 11 days and the help of dozens of strangers, but police have finally been able to locate the family of a pair of recluse twin sisters who were found dead in their South Lake Tahoe home last month. Another update, Placerville student injured in auto versus pedestrian crash. About a dozen people were able to make it to the walking bridge above Highway 50 to welcome home 17-year-old Carly Bray. Richard Barb endorsed by CRA, Monday, March 5th, the California Republican Assembly of El Dorado County voted to endorse Richard Barb for District 3 Supervisor of El Dorado County. El Dorado County ca candidates will speak at forum. The Tea Party Patriots of El Dorado Hills will host a forum at 7 p.m. March 21st featuring candidates for judge and two supervisorial seats in El Dorado County. Placerville Fun Run to Honor Memory of Child. The Spirit of ben Benny 5K Fun Run and Walk will be held March 17th in Placerville. California Indian Casinos see second straight decline in revenue over 5%. Retired El Dorado County Deputy Sheriff Don Atkinson, 50, arrested. The former head of the El Dorado County Deputy Sheriff's Association was arrested Thursday in Nevada and charged with embezzling about $300,000 from the deputy's organization. And another update, Joe Stansel Jr. to forfeit approximately $428,000 and to pay $500,000 in criminal fines. Placerville airplane dealer sentenced for accepting drug proceeds. A Placerville airplane dealer was ordered Wednesday to forfeit legal profits and illegal profits and to pay a fine for accepting apparent drug proceeds. On February 16th, Stansel Enterprises, Inc. pleaded guilty in federal court in Sacramento to charges against the firm, its owner and president, Joseph Stansel, and a salesman at the company. Gun owners of California, Placerville Banquet, that's tonight. Come join us as we celebrate and support our Second Amendment rights. We will enjoy a prime rib dinner along with live and silent auctions and a raffle. And that will be held at the Manzanita Room in the Placerville area uh, fairgrounds. Board of Supervisors nicks affordable housing project. On a split vote, the Board of Supervisors turned down affordable housing development in Shingle Springs. And I want to make sure that we thank PR Pond, for their news and in El Dorado County, you can find them both at www.prpond.com as well as www.indedc.com. And thank you for watching El Dorado County Area News. I'm Rob Charney, Old Guy Tech. This episode of Old Guy Tech TV is brought to you by Ward's Automotive, specializing in Banks Power and Pack Brake. 
servicing your car or truck, and specializing in diesel engines. Over 30 years of service located in Diamond Springs, California. Give them a call at 530-626-5588.